What's going on guys, it's JM, it's Speedbox, it make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos. Also comment below in this comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of my videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub to on my channel. So, WBA Super Bantamweight Champion Galea Morrigan now is saying that he is willing to fight at £118. He's willing to go to Super Flyweight for a big fight. Is he referring to former £118 champion Chocolatito Roman Gonzalez who's got a rematch trying to win his world title back and if he does it is Guillermo Rigan now willing to face him also he's saying he's willing to go up to £126 and face one of the featherweight champions obviously he's still pissed that the fact that um, Leo Santa Cruz, Carl Frampton and Scott Quigg just all ducked him and moved up to featherweight which was absolutely shocking in my opinion one of the worst cases of ducking I've ever seen. Like this guy didn't just get ducked by one person. This guy got ducked by a whole division almost. By a whole division of world champions. Like it was just absolutely disgraceful. But he's saying he's also willing to face Vasyl Lomachenko between 126 and 130 pounds, even at a catch weight between them two weights. And to quote Guillermo Rigandau, he already says. Lomachenko is a great fighter, outstanding. I have a lot of respect and major props for him. But you know he's gone to 130 and now going to 135. That's really, really heavy for me. But at 26 or even a catch weight a little above that, whatever it is, we want to make the big fights. As boxers, we work really, really hard. I don't look at who's better or who's not. We're both great champions and so we respect each other in the sport. I'm going to talk to my team about that to see what's next. But I'm ready for anyone at 118, 122, 126. Just give me the big names. So, Guillermo Rigandau here. Not talking trash about Vasyl Lomachenko. He's saying he respects him. He says he knows he's a great fighter. Obviously, he knows Vasyl Lomachenko is a great fighter. Because the amateur record speaks for itself. These guys are probably two of the best amateurs that's ever lived. And they are aware of each other. They both know that they're great fighters. But I think we won't see Guillermo Rigan now or Lomachenko. I don't think that fight will ever happen. I think Lomachenko is too big for Guillermo Rigan now at this stage in his career. Also, I think Bob Arum, the promoter of Vasyl Lomachenko, won't put Lomachenko anywhere near Guillermo Rigan now. He's even said before Bob Arum that it's a shit fight between Rigan now and Lomachenko. And you can't tell me that a fight between Guillermo Rigan now and Vasyl Lomachenko is a shit fight. Like, it is not a shit fight. Like, that is two high-level elite fighters going at it. And Bob Arum holds a lot of bad blood towards Guillermo Rigandau. Like, that is no secret. Obviously, Bob Arum used to promote Guillermo Rigandau, but I think them two clashed in terms of personality, in terms of ego. And then Guillermo Rigandau beat Bob Arum's cash cow, Nito Donier. And he beat him very convincingly, in my opinion. And I think Bob Arum really held it against him. And ever since then, he's held a lot of bad blood towards him. Obviously, after that fight, he kind of put the brakes on Guillermo Rigandau's career. Didn't really want to get in fights or anything like that. And then he left Bob Arum. And ever since then, um, Guillermo Rigandau's just been kind of flapping in the wind. So, yeah, I don't think we'll ever see that fight between Guillermo Rigandau and Lomachenko. Don't get me wrong, it would have been a great fight, but I just think Vasyl Lomachenko is too big right now in terms of weight. And Guillermo Rigandau is not the biggest super bantam weight out there. Like, I think him going to featherweight could be a stretch. Like, I think that could be too big for him featherweight because this is the guy who's not the biggest super bantam weight and he's saying he's willing to go down to 118 pounds. That's to go down to super flyweight. That's the division below super bantamweight but this guy just wants a big fight and I don't blame him for saying that he'll drop down to these weights because nobody wants to fight him like it must be so frustrating to be a world champion to be so talented because obviously Guillermo Rigan now must be aware of his ability he must know how good he is so he probably don't understand why he can't get a fight but these guys have been shamelessly ducking him for so many years. Carl Frampton, Leo Santa Cruz, like they've just been openly ducking him. They've even admitted it, saying they're not ready to fight Guillermo Rigandau. Like these guys were world champions and they're saying they're not ready to fight Guillermo Rigandau. Like when Carl Frampton won the IBF Super Bantamweight Champion, his 
manager Barry McGuigan said, oh, even though, yeah, he's a world champion, we're still not ready for Guillermo Rigging down. Like, what do you mean? Like, it's just absolute bollocks, in my opinion. But at the end of the day, somebody has got to get, get this guy a big fight. And there's obviously controversy surrounding his last fight against Moses Flores, that he was hit after the bell and stuff like that, that Flores was hit after the bell. So that fight could end up being ruled as a no contest. And he may have to rematch Moses Flores to try and get the victory and put that to bed. But this guy deserves a big fight, and I think he should get a big fight. Even even if he has to drop down to super flyweight and fight Chocolatito, then so be it. I just want to see Guillermo Rigging down in big fights. I want to see Guillermo Rigging down active because he's 36 years old. He says even though he's 36 years old, he said he still feels fresh. He says he's got another four or five years left in him. So that could be four or five years of great fights that we could be seeing or we could be missing out on it. And that would be a real, real shame because this guy has been a pro since he was 28 years old. It's not like he came into the pro game late, like he was in his mid 30s or anything like that. He came into the pro games at 28, which is kind of late, but it's not really really late i think he could have got some big fights by now but he spent the last eight years well the last five years of his career just doing nothing really like not getting the big fights and to be honest it's not his fault this guy's willing to face anyone but obviously the promoters the networks the fighters just don't want to give him the fights but it is what it is this is boxing it's a shame but we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens with Guillermo Rigging now, who is he going to face? Is he going to fight one of the world champions at 126? Is he going to move down? We just got to wait and see. Comment below in the comment section. It is JM, it is Speed Boxing.